When Dale and Sika started his logistics company two years ago, he had big dreams to expand and grow. But COVID-19 has put a halt to those plans after the cost of clearing containers skyrocketed. He says before COVID-19, the cost of shipping a 20-foot container from Guangzhou, China was $1,800, but now it's $6,000 for a container of the same size, causing some clients to stop importing and others to reduce the number of goods they bring in. So this has caused us to, re to minimize the number of workers, to fail to expand the office or refine like a week or, or two weeks, no work to do. We just came to the office and stay. So we used to, 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 to sometimes we used to our uh, savings to run the daily life. The cost rise is caused by growing demand of vessels and containers from China to other parts of the world, especially Europe and America. Officials here say Chinese container companies prefer shipping to countries like the U.S., where each container costs up to $30,000. The head of Tanzania's Freight Forwarders Association says this is affecting the availability of containers in sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, but before COVID, uh, you, you just add the freights, $1,800, so that you can calculate taxes uh, to be paid. But now, after COVID, uh, you will add maybe like $6,000 instead of 1800 so you find the CNF, the cost and freight, uh, has gone high, automatically even taxes will go high. At the end of the day, even the consumers will now, the end consumer will now be the one who is suffering in terms of paying these costs. The drop in containers from China is affecting thousands of businesses in Tanzania. China is the largest project contractor in the country, with investments ranging from a number of sectors including retail, mining, and agriculture. Our major import country for all these regions definitely is China, and also the major uh, exporting destination is, uh, is China too, in terms of minerals, in terms of uh, 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 cereals, and, and, and other stuffs. The UN Trade Agency has warned that global consumer prices will rise until shopping supply chains are unblocked and port constraints and terminal inefficiencies are improved. According to a report by the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, the demand for goods surged over the last two years as consumers spent their money on goods rather than services during the pandemic lockdowns. It's hoped as 2022 progresses, the prices would stabilize and bring relief to the sector.